Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, baby girl's name is Lavender Loco, aka Love Andre. So guys, if you want to see how I created this look, then do keep on watching. It is gonna be a voiceover because I am trying, you know, to get the hang of doing voiceovers and so on. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. I love it. I actually love my brows. I did the same thing that I did previously like the on the previous yeah i did the same thing anyway guys just keep your eyes open for an updated brow routine because i am trying different things and i am loving the results so far so guys if you want to see how i created this look then do keep on watching going in with my beauty creations jasmine palette guys i am going into all of those neutral brown shades i love this palette so now i'm just going to be taking that shade but i actually wanted to set my lids because i do want this lid um this to be soft and then i forgot and i was like you know what yeah let's go and set that so i am just setting my lids with that um bone shade that yellowish type of shade from my wet and wild rose palette and now i am gonna get back into what i was busy doing so i'm just gonna be blowing out that mustard yellow again i'm not sure why it's giving orange but it's giving it's supposed to be giving mustard yellow but i'm just gonna focus that on my inner corner I then decided, you know what, I am going to take the shade outwards as well. So hence, I was just taking the shade outwards. Again, I actually love this palette. I love the formulation of it. It's easy to work with. Um, it's beginner friendly. It's pigmented. I love it. I still want the Ariel and Tiana palette in my collection. And then I'm like done. But then I feel like I need a new, like a fourth palette Uh princess palette as well because i feel like the number four is just it's just the best number like when you have four things four of the same things or four things like i feel like yeah you're undefeated um yeah guys so i'm just making sure that my blend is seamless there i'm dragging it to my outer corners and now i'm just gonna go into the shade just down below it which is a brown shade and i'm just gonna focus that on my outer corner <clears throat> i'm blending that i could have left the look just as is or met with just those two shades but i kind of wanted there to be more to this look so hence i went in with all the other shades as well so i'm just blending again taking that clean brush and that is my babe the shadow that you guys just see there my babe um he's home for lunch so yeah anyway blending that and now i'm just gonna like take more and i'm just gonna blend that in further like to my inner corner to my center to the center oh my gosh i cannot speak taking that darker brown that deep brown shade that almost looks black again i'm gonna focus that onto the outer corner of my eyes again with like another brush and i kind of used a big brush i oh and it's just pigmented though i kind of at the end i was like you know what i should have used something a bit more smaller but nevertheless we made it work and again the formula of these are so good like so so good like what it's just that from to directly um order from beauty creations it cost about three to four times the product itself and i was just lucky to be able to find this palette on take a lot and after that there was nothing I guess like that one was just meant for me so yeah guys just going in making sure that everything is seamless that I'm enjoying my blend because lately I have lately I don't like the way the eyeshadows blend I'm not sure if I should replace my eyeshadow base or whatever the case may be but I hate the way my blends look so now guys I'm just gonna go in with that 
gorgeous goldeny shade there and I am gonna apply it as in a cut crease motion but I'm not gonna cut my crease I'm just gonna be using that shadow okay because I am out of my favorite cut crease concealer which is the camouflage one the matte one by essence can we talk about how stunning the shade is guys I think this is definitely gonna be my new favorite shade like even if I use my other palettes I think I'm gonna return to this palette and use the shimmer shade because I love me a good shim shim anyway guys so now that we have that done I'm just gonna blend the outer corners you know mushing everything together and then when we have that done we are obviously going to move on to the face and so far i hope that my voiceover does not irritate you guys and annoy you guys because i'm trying moving on to the dr blur by catrice primer which is a silicone primer i'm just going to be applying that on my face focusing majority of the product in my t-zone or y-zone basically T and Y zone where I have large pores so yeah and next up for foundation I'm gonna be using the Maybelline super stay Maybelline active wear foundation in the shade golden caramel and I love this I'm almost out I'm just trying to finish this before my tan hits and then I cannot use this anymore so I would just like to have it done before then next up again my favorite concealer is by smudge beauty it's creamy it's full coverage I love it and yeah you can find this at click stores it is a south african brand the shade that i'm using it's not like very highlighted it's like one shade lighter than my foundation i these times where i do like that under eye highlighted look but these times where i just prefer something like this i don't really think i need concealer because i don't really have problematic under eyes except for them being dry again guys i love this concealer and it blends so easily like if you are not careful you are gonna make this disappear if you don't stop your blending so i really love this concealer and it's like under 50 rand and um clix currently has a sale um where if you buy three products you'll get the cheapest one free baby girl so do stock up in this concealer if you love something creamy 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 if you love something creamy and natural for every day with coverage this is the babe for you guys i swear you will not regret buying this i love it i genuinely love this concealer i do have two shades i have the shade and then i have ivory which i use if i want like that light in a corner under eye so then i will just mix the two but i genuinely love this concealer um i'm so over having a ton of concealers the last year or this year i've genuinely been like testing out some affordable drugstore concealers because i don't wanna have like six concealers and blah 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 you know what i'm saying i would just like to have my creamy everyday concealer my everyday full coverage like my glam full coverage concealer and that's it like that is where i'm at in today's life and i love it i genuinely love it right now i feel like i should have just had a bunch of cream products like bronzer and blush and then set everything with translucent because i genuinely enjoy the finish that my face have right there and i'm just gonna go in with my wet and wild caramel toffee compact i love this but i am gonna put baby girl on hold for a minute i just used this particular powder because it genuinely brightens up you don't even have to have concealer underneath if you just have that powder your foundation and you just put that powder on bake for a minute or so and then wipe it off i'm telling you guys it will make a difference it will look as if you had concealer underneath but you didn't hence i love it and then if i'm done with setting the concealer i am gonna go into the bronzer shade again i love the bronzer shade it's warm it's everything 
it's good and it blends so well like i genuinely i love it i go back to this powder like a ton i i love it i swear right now i have a backup of it and i don't want to actually use this up because i want to i don't want to actually yeah use this up before i don't have another backup because if i have like i i need to have a backup of this like it's genuinely my holy grail product i i love it i genuinely love it so and it's affordable yeah guys just bronzing up everywhere my forehead my cheeks and whatnot the nose everywhere that needs to be bronzed i'm bronzing up and can we talk about my brows um today i've done my brows a little bit different i'm testing out certain things so again if you are not subscribed please subscribe click the notification bell because i will be uploading an updated brow routine now i'm gonna go in with my santa striptease bronzer from wet and wild and now we are just going to contour the nose i love this bronzer for my nose the shade for my nose so just going over with this bronzer where i have added the other bronzer just to sort of create my own personal preference shade i guess my own shade that i love i love them together though um yeah now i'm gonna go in with blush for blush i'm gonna be using the old mellow wine blush by wet and wild i'm yet to pick up the new one not sure why this one is coming off as like a dark peachy tone but it's actually a wine sort of a shade but i love this one um yeah i love it you can build it up but obviously i don't like that intense blush look even though blush is the first thing that will fade away but i never usually wear my makeup for like the longest time um so yeah just blushing up everywhere that needs to be blushed up and then i'm gonna go in with a highlighter that i've recently taken out or no i'm gonna go in with the yellow shade because i feel like i've taken the blush up a bit too high so i'm just gonna cancel out that blush shade and just make the under eyes a bit more visible now i'm just gonna go in with the highlighter shade which i've recently taken out and this is the i met someone which is the after schmick glow shade um compact actually and i'm just gonna go in with that yellow shade or the lighter shade the champagne shade so i've recently taken out this compact and i love it i genuinely i forgot how much i love this like it's so blinding it's genuinely it's super super nice if you don't have this go get yourself this i swear it is it is blinding as you guys can see i i genuinely i love it um then i'm gonna go into the lip pencil called willow from wet and wild i've won this in a giveaway from them and you can cancel out your lips um i did not cancel out my lips as you guys can see it kind of looks like my lips but it's actually a very nice and like a peachy sort of a tone it's a very nice light brown shade so i'm just gonna be filling in my lips with this like my entire lips and then i am just gonna apply my essence um gloss in nude mood i think but it's a very nice pinky shade. I feel like it looks like that NARS pink lip gloss. Lip gloss. <laughs> lip gloss. Um, but yeah guys. I like this lip combo. I have forgotten about this lip combo. So I don't know. Today I was just like you know what. Let me, let me bring out this combo. And I'm just going to add on the lip gloss that I just talked about. And yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, this tutorial, do let me know down in the comments. Give your girl a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. Subscribe. I would love if you guys would subscribe. And guys, yeah, the final look. And here we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next one. Bye.